What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Keebler, the new hero for the game. She is a four star, three star, five foot seven, but genuinely looks like she has some pretty good stats in that midfield role. I can imagine a lot of people are either going to go shadow or anchor for her because she has got a lot of shooting, passing's very good, dribbling's at a decent level. The only thing that we haven't got really for her is the agility balance and that's why when I've bought her, someone's put an engine on her. So she is potentially going to be more of the attacking side than necessarily the defensive. She has like KDB, got incisive pass plus, she got jockey, flair, first touch and also Travella as normal play styles and before she was coming in at like 200,000 coins she's now dipped massively all the way down to about 57 to 60,000 coins so a very cheap option again like other people that we've seen she has got a UCL hero coming as well so it will be interesting to see what that's all about but for 50,000 coins potentially at the SBC which I can imagine is going to be more than 50,000 coins Let's have a look and see what she can do. FC24 is here and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout, make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. Keebler pushing forward. Good amount of pace there, I must admit. Trying to find a forward a little bit more there, but straight away, as soon as she took the ball, you could definitely tell a nice pace for a centre mid, definitely. See what she's like bringing the ball forward then. If we can get away, we take a free... Okay, no, good tackle apparently. Pushing the ball up with Keebler then. Get a bit of pace onto that wing. Looking to see what we could do here. Look for the fake, looking for somebody, but we're just running out of options. Very, very well kept. I must admit, in terms of agility, definitely don't need two, and that's going to be offside. You can definitely tell she's not an attacking mid whatsoever, uh, defensive mid whatsoever. Very, oh, <laughs> just set her up for the slaughter as well. Very much on the attack and non-defense. I don't think she's won a ball back yet at all. So it's glad that we got Lorente next to her because naturally... You do need a defensive mid as well at some point because that's what's going to be a big factor in kind of just winning the ball back in that midfield role. When you know that you've got her there, she's sitting very, very deep, which is surprising that she hasn't won at all at any ball. But when it comes to going forward, she has got that burst of pace, which is nice and, and can get out of them situations. Plus, having that incisive pass plus is always going to be a nice one. It may not be... It may not be the, the kind of number one that you think about every time, but most definitely the passes will pay for themselves as such. Straight into Keebler's feet then. Let's see what we can get in this second match with her. She definitely... Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we win the free kick. That, that'll do. Definitely impressed in the first, but I must admit, I feel like in terms of stats, I was expecting a little bit better. But for 50,000 coins now, when she was like 200, 300, I think I could have expected a little bit more from her. Good interception. I'll happily take that to be the only tackle she's made in two games. But it's a very, very important one. So going into the overall four Keebler then. In terms of it, I think she's a good player. And this is what it comes down to now. And, and it's the same for any sort of player is we are already past her, which is shocking to see because stats wise, very good. I must admit, pace wise was a lot better than expected in terms of passing, shooting, dribbling, decent. Defending, not really any existence, to be honest, even just putting a foot out. She won one tackle. And, and to be honest, that tackle was very important. So it is what it is. So I would definitely say having a defensive mid next to her is going to be absolutely crucial. As she's going to be the outlet very much with that incisive plus is going to be that player that, that can ping the ball left, right and center. So I would say that potentially going for the shadow, the engine is going to be very, very important. So if you did go with the shadow, you end up with 89 on that pace, 85 defending. And you end up with what, an 89 uh, center mid or an 87 CDM or an 
189 cam. If you was to go with, what do we go with, uh, engine, I think that's what we had on her. It makes a controlled explosive with 85 pace, 93 pass, and 91 dribbling. You miss out all the defensive bonuses, and instead of having that 87 on the CDM, it's 85. But then in center mid and cam, she is 91 and 91. So you are trading the different kind of areas for her. If, in terms of a hero, what do you expect? Because, realistically, with the new hero pack that we are getting, this is going to be including everybody. So, everybody is 89 and under. So, this is what a base hero pack. So, you are missing out on the Di Natales, the Valers, the, the Futra, the Ginola. Would you be happy with that? And I think that's where we come down to it. Because when we look at the hero players, they're not necessarily that expensive throughout. Bar from the very, very top. There is very little price between them. So you've got uh, two players over a mil, one just under, and we've had him twi well f five times in an SBC now because of the max 87. We then have Ramirez at 700. We then have, say, another, what, 10 players just over 200, maybe even just coming close. And then we start to see the downfall because we go under 190. You've got three pages. So literally already this whole second page is 60k to 13,000. All of these are going to be in the SBC. Fair enough, it's only one on that page. That is a big risk to take. I'm hoping that the SBC isn't going to be that expensive. But I do think in terms of kind of her place in this, she's very, very mid. And I must admit, it's going to be interesting to see where the UCL heroes come in. Because stats-wise, and I don't know if they are official stats or not, or the official rating at the minimum, that could be a nice little boost for her. So that's why they've kind of gone with the upgrade now, so that they could do the UCL heroes in a week or two. And we're already not talking about these heroes anymore. So it'll be interesting to see. She is still 60,000. So she's just coming uh, kind of a little bit down from the top of the second page. But most definitely isn't necessarily on everybody's radar. I think it'd be nice to have just as an extra bonus. But knowing that she's got a UCL hero, I'd rather go for another player without one. Just so that I don't, I don't have an upgrade to get in literally a couple of weeks. In terms of passing, solid. Pace-wise, decent. Defending, non-existent. Dribbling-wise, decent again, but physicality was a little bit of an issue going forward. 60,000 coins. Unfortunately, I feel like there is better out there. Let me know down below what you think, and let me know if you did get her in the hero pack. Take care. Peace.